Blessings of peace, happiness, and abundance, soul travelers, and welcome to the Priestess Prophecies. You are joining Priestess Melissa. We are here on this new moon in Virgo. We're going to read the energies and see what is going on for the collective. Now, the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms cards will give us either a ally or challenger position for the card and we will be able to see what is going on for the main energy around the collective that's following me anyway um, during all of this and then we were tap into the moonology cards like we did for the zodiac readings this week and see what is coming up for the collective we'll see what the moon is bringing up for us and then we'll see what the final outcome is the light seers tarot will give us a few cards on top of each one of the moonology cards to give us a little bit of a clearer perspective on everything and then i have the inner fn peace cards to give us some messages moving forward for this crazy moon energy can anybody relate out there has it been a little bit challenging you know um not with everybody but with certain people it's like you know certain people you mesh with other people are just i don't know they're just kind of on their own energy right now you know so then at the end of course we always get a love message and we'll get it from the lovers oracle cards today so do stick around to the end for that Hope you've enjoyed your readings. Do check them out if you haven't already. Uh, for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, you can check out all of those readings, whichever ones you need to or all of them. Do put a like on them, and thank you so much for your support. Watch your ears, guys. Sorry, I didn't warn you first. Blessings to the angels, ancestors, way showers, and guides. Wisdom of the hidden realms. Show us what we need to know for the collective. Take a couple of nice, slow, deep breaths and relax. Guys, thank you so, so much for all of your likes, shares, subscribes. Do hit the bell notification if you haven't already. Your donations, everything, all of the support that you show here on the Priestess Prophecies and to me is greatly appreciated. All right, well, let's tap into these new moon and Virgo energies here and see what is coming up for our main message today, Wisdom of the Hidden Realms, and we have it in the reverse position, at least more so. This is kind of how it came out, so reverse. So this is needing to strategize better, <laughs> basically. The chess queen, all right? But in reverse saying that we need to be aware of the plans that we're putting into place. Really think about things before we make our next move. So trust and strategizing, 30. This is something we're gonna really need to, you know, pull away from people, sit with ourselves, figure out the right next action is what i'm hearing all right whatever this is you've been thinking long and hard and there's good reason for that because you need to all right is what i'm hearing spirit saying whatever the decision may be for you this is going to be like a game changer yeah there you go chess queen <laughs> checkmate <laughs> 333 coming up on the timer today so definitely this is going to be a power move for you whoever this is hit the like button if you're resonating for sure so the challenger position for this card says when the chess queen arrives to challenge you it simply means that you're living too much in your head all right, so don't think so much. You're going to have to feel your way through this, kind of like a intuition kind of thing. You can use your head, but this isn't going to be the only way that you're going to be able to successfully make this move is what Spirit's saying. All right, so it says planning, scheming, and strategizing what your future will look like and how and when it will unfold. Remember the saying, man plans and God laughs, all right? So best laid plans, right? But be open to what may be the best plan or the best way, all right? And so Spirit's trying to help you with that and to help you to see what that may be. You cannot know the power and beauty that is meant for you until you let go and ask for divine guidance. So you definitely need to call on your angels, ancestors, way showers, your 
whoever it is, your spiritual team, you need to really be sure about this next move because, you know, you make plans without trying to ensure that you're making the best, you know, taking the best direction, then that's where we get into all of the troubles and karmic cycles and different things like that, right, queen? We're ready to transcend and rise above any of those lower decisions that we perhaps made in our lives that have resulted in where we are now. Time to make those changes, right? The laws of cause and effect apply here. Don't dictate what you want as your wants may not be in your highest good. So really think about that. Ask instead for the miracles set aside for you and you alone, absolutely, under grace in the most perfect ways. Check out The Game of Life and How to Play It by Florence Scovel Shen, and I will try to remember to pen that in the, com or not in the comments, but in the uh, description box. What does spirit want for you? Perhaps it's time to let go and turn your life over to the care of the higher power. You can never lose when spirit plays the game of life on your behalf. Absolutely beautiful. I love that. You can never lose when you allow spirit to play the game of life on your behalf. Yeah, check in with your higher powers always before you make your move, all right? Especially these big moves, right? We should always be calling in God to go before us in our day, you know, to help us to see what we need to see, make the right choices, not miss any opportunities. Absolutely. Hit the like button and say, I am ready to make those power moves because I am the queen. All right, let's see what Moonology cards have to say for us. What's coming up around all of this? All right, making the best moves for ourselves. Your commitment is being tested. Confidence is your key to success. So this is you trusting in yourself and believing in yourself, all right? You got to build up that heart energy to trust, right? To be able to trust when spirit gives you that move that you can have the confidence, right? To make that move boldly. This is absolutely first quarter moon, very important. And both of your cards already came out for the next one. Nothing is yet set in stone, mutable moon in the middle. This is what the moon is bringing up for you. It's saying this is what you need to hear, not tune out at this time. Be aware and use your clear audience to hear the messages that spirit is trying to bring to you about those plans about the next steps forward waxing moon you got some pretty cool cards here first quarter moon so coming out of our new moon energy in this first quarter is going to be very important for you to understand that you are going to be bumping up against you know what it has been causing you to have these issues and to face them and say, okay, enough is enough kind of energy, right? So nothing is yet set in stone, you know, for the immediate energy of what the moon is trying to show us. You have the opportunity to change things around, to make your next move your best one, yes. The energy is gaining momentum for the conclusion, waxing moon, if you keep going the direction that you're going, and you know stay the course allow spirit to show you what that next step forward is and to follow the direction don't let pride get in your way don't think that you have all the answers you know like it said we make plans and god laughs all right south no don't let your past hold you back very important right now all right this is going to be um so to be able to make those moves boldly, right? We've got to let the past go. We've got to do that healing. Make that decision to go down that path if we haven't already to do the healing work that may be necessary. Two of Wands with the Four of Swords energy there. 
all right because this is all about our abundance going down that path that's going to make us happy nine of pentacles yeah that's going to help us to get our stability in place perhaps with that chest queen maybe that next work move or job move or whatever the case may be money move whatever it is your commitment is being tested what do we need to know it's all around the home for sure all around your stability, your happiness, four of wands energy. All right, so that's what your commitment is being tested on. Holding back, you know, maybe at this time, watching your finances with that four of pentacles energy, 10, 10. Getting your, you know, clarity on what it is that you need to cut out and what needs to stay so that, you know, what's working, what's not. And we have an energy of being afraid, not wanting to be, you know, fooled or, you know, wanting to be clear about, you know, what, what is your happiness and the people around you, particularly how that's affecting your energy magician in reverse, right? We really want to be aware of when we need to stay, when we need to go kind of energy. Yeah. Looking at what's been working once again and what hasn't been. I feel like you've been looking at that quite a bit as well. And maybe this is around a commitment, you know, in the home for wands, that 1111 energy. And um, maybe not choosing to move forward on a situation that's not working out. And that could be a commitment. Yeah, for sure. Seven of Cups. Not feeling so sure about somebody, perhaps, at this point. Yeah, Hierophant energy. Maybe there's some things that you're still learning, but you are moving in the right direction if you're trusting in spirit. And spirit is definitely asking you to have that commitment to yourself. All right? Be willing to heal. Be willing to allow the past to go. You're not going to be able to make a move or to make the right moves if you are so hung up on the past, for sure. Yes, you're not going to be able to have the success you're looking for. And that's exactly what we want to do is ask spirit what is going to help us to have that success. Nothing's yet set in stone. I do believe that this energy is still kind of a toggling back and forth energy. Yeah, five of pentacles in reverse, you know, um, it's good to see this in reverse, but do be aware that, you know, maybe your health has suffered some because of this, your mental health, emotional or physical health, for sure. Wheel of fortune in reverse, this is just going to, you know, nothing set in stone, but you're being asked to stay that higher path because that's what's going to help you to have the success to help the wheel to spin upright in your favor all right so that energy that's gaining momentum can be good energy all right don't block you know all of the good that could be coming for you stand your ground against these people that may be trying to pull on your energy if you will as well the energy is gaining momentum cards flying everywhere yep two of cups for sure this is either you gaining your stability or you know um this could be a love situation for sure something that you're gonna have to use your intuition on you're gonna have to get connected grounded to be able to pull in the answers that you need all right so um so you know <laughs> Maybe gaining momentum, but is it the right momentum? Let's see. What else do we need to know about the Two of Cups for the future energy? Page of Wands. Well, it could be a new love, a new direction that you're going for sure. An ending. Interesting. Let's see. One more card. Well, conflict and King of Cups. Balance, though. You're going to feel good about whatever this is. But it could cause some conflict with other people, you know? Maybe this is the commitment that's being tested because you are feeling good about the new way that you're loving yourself, right? This could cause conflict, you know, um, maybe a little bit within yourself, maybe because of other people, you know, making you feel bad about choosing yourself. 
Three of Pentacles. So you gotta be aware of where you're putting that time and energy into. And if it's throwing you off balance, you know, because there could be a third party involved for sure. That's a red light on that, right? No go. <laughs> All right, well, let us see what the inner FM peace cards have to say for us in regards to all of this. What are the messages for the collective? Busy transcending BS. So it looks here like maybe there could be some things going on here. You're healing your chakras, perhaps, and uh, allowing yourself again to uh, transcend everything that's been happening so you can get to your inner peace and make a clear decision about all of this pick one thing beyond your control and let it go just like that so whatever that came up to you in your mind to be uh, that could absolutely be it what else <laughs> rainbow energy for sure going on here we're needing to definitely heal i am on i'm in an offline state of mind yeah absolutely like i said we need to pull away unplug is what the, the back of the card says so we need to get off of social media maybe not allow people to be able to uh, make contact with us unplug you be you yeah this is just saying you know i'm gonna be me you do you, I'm gonna do me. Practice radical acceptance. Again, that rainbow energy coming out here. Inner peace is my B-I-T-C-H. I don't know how much I can say on here and I don't wanna be offensive, but yeah, inner peace is my bit. So acceptance, better watch out. I am coming for it next. So we just got that earlier with the acceptance. Where did it say that? There we go. Practice radical acceptance. You be you. Inner peace is my be. Exactly. All right. And then our last card is seeking cosmic consciousness. Just kidding, but seriously though. Yeah. Again, pulling away from this energy, whatever it is, you know, and loving yourself is really going to help you to find the answers that you need to be able to make the best move forward for sure. All right. Guys, hit the like button if you're resonating so far with these messages or you are getting any advice or guidance that is helping you for sure. All right, let's see what's coming out for love from the Lover's Oracle. We've got this energy of mirroring. Beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess equally so the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection so think about that all right because we only attract what it is that you know we have to some degree within us as well transformation your relationship with one another is about to deepen love conquers and transforms all things so for some of you this could actually, you know, come back together, but sometimes you gotta give a little tough love before, you know, you can allow people back into your space, if you will, and see if they're worth making that move with. All right, very important message here coming out saying, don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. Again, this said, get out of your head, right? Four, it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others absolutely i agree with that wholeheartedly do hit the like button subscribe and hit the bell notification you guys are amazing have a beautiful day and i'll see you soon bye for now